And we're gonna use the four inch because that's the max that this can core at. Hey guys, Brad here. And today we're gonna be taking a look at another DeWalt jackhammer or rotary hammer as they call them. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe, hit that notify bell, give me a thumbs up at the end here if you like the video. And uh, yeah, stay tuned because there's lots, lots of videos coming. So today we're looking at a smaller version of what they have out there. This is the D25614 inch and three quarter uh, DeWalt rotary hammer. It's got about 10.5 joules of impact energy. So when we're drilling, that's what we're, we're putting out. You can core up to about four inches with this thing and blows per minute are around 1,450 to 2,900 blows per minute. And it's weighing in at about 17.3 pounds. We've got a inch and a half uh, drill bit on here, SDS. And I like to put the big bits on here just to kind of put this thing through its paces. If I put a small bit on, it's, you're really not gonna be able to tell if it's getting bogged down or not. So I'm using the biggest bit I have and Actually, maybe we'll use, I'm just thinking here. I've got another bit. This is, I'm just thinking on the fly. I've got another bit we're gonna show as well. It's a coring bit. I'll see if I can find it, but stay tuned for that. It's about a three inch coring bit. So we'll pop that on here as well. We're also gonna do a little bit of chiseling with a point chisel. So pretty basic unit. This is the corded model. We've got variable speed on the side here, one through seven. There's nothing too fancy about it. There's no lights or anything. We do have the Bluetooth ability to, to put that part on right here. This is fully adjustable. So you just give it a twist and we can move it around. And then we've got the two modes up here. We've got uh, hammer mode for chipping, um, breaking that type of stuff. And then we've got the drilling hammer mode right here, which is what we're on. And then that's just easily selected by moving it around just like that. To get the bits out really, really easy with DeWalt, you just pull this back and the bit comes right out. Okay. And then to find it, you just got to rotate it till it finds its proper slots and then you push it in. So that's basically it. This thing is really handy, really strong, really awesome to have. It also has a uh, constant run switch on here on the bottom. You flick this switch up and it'll just constantly run. You don't have to keep the trigger depressed. So that's good when you're doing like uh, jackhammering, breaking, that type of stuff. When you're drilling, I don't recommend it just because it, uh, you, you wanna be in control of what you're drilling. This also has Perform and Protect on it, so we're not gonna hurt ourselves. And let's get to business, all right? So I'm gonna put my ears on, my eyes. As you can see, we've drilled a few holes already. We did some other videos. We did the, um, the Flexvolt version, bigger model, and uh, we did the corded model of that. So make sure you check those videos out. We'll leave some links. Okay, let's get started. So let's, on one, up to seven. So not bad, we did about two and a half to three inches there. This thing's really good. It's not too hard on your arms as far as vibrations go. I, I quite like it for a smaller rotary hammer. It's, uh, it's not too heavy. Some of the ones are just so heavy. If you're doing anything on the wall, you know, you really gotta like lift it up. This is, this is manageable. Um, 
All right, let's do some chipping. Make sure you switch your dial over. Okay, now we're, we're good to go. So pretty good on the chipping as well. I, I quite like this hammer drill. It's, it's light enough that it's not gonna tire me out. So that's why I like it a lot. Now let's do some coring. I'm gonna grab that bit and we'll do some coring. All right guys, so I pulled out two of my coring bits. I've got a three and a half inch and a four inch. And we're gonna use the four inch cause that's the max that this can core at. And I'll just kinda show you what these look like. They're, they're pretty awesome. I use these for putting in uh, venting or, or whatever for, for my HVAC guys. Sometimes we need that. So these are serious bits, all right? And here's the three and a half or This one's got a bit of rust on it, but it still does the job. So that's my three and a half. All right. So we'll set this up, Let's see what we can do. I'm not gonna drill all the way through because these bits do have a lifespan and I don't really wanna shorten it too much. So we'll just go down maybe an inch here just to kind of get a feel. All right. Gotta put my glasses on, doing some serious holes. Game on. So when I was drilling there, I noticed the Perform Protect kind of kicking in. It was sort of slowing the motor down a little bit. It wasn't like a, a clutch. I don't know if you could see that in the video or hear it, but it was kind of just the motor was changing a little bit on me. And that's just because with these bits, if you start leaning any which way, they bind up a little bit on you. I mean, obviously it's always better to use wet bits in my mind. Uh, is they're just cleaner, easier to use, they're quicker, and uh, a lot of the times I don't have a big enough bit, so I just sub it out to a subcontractor and they can come in with their six inch or whatever. But uh, you can see this is doing a really, really good job. Very dusty. Normally when I'm doing this, I've got a, a Bosch dust shroud that goes around the outside, and this fits right in the middle. We did a review on it a lot as well quite a long time ago, so it's way down the list, but we'll leave a link for that too. And uh, yeah, that's what you would use to collect all that dust. And they basically suck on with a, with a vacuum. But this, for demonstration purposes, you can kind of see how much dust is producing and sort of the situation. So when you're using these bits, if you're not familiar with them, they're cutting around the perimeter. There's also a bit in the middle and eventually, let's say you're cutting through eight inches of concrete. Well, you can only go through this much at a time, three to four inches at a time. So what you have to do is constantly break this piece out and you can use that with your chiseling bit. So I'll demonstrate that. I'm gonna drill just a little deeper and then I'll switch over, knock that out and then keep going just so you can understand how this works.
So it's interesting, it, it's kind of got this pulsing mode to perform and protect, kind of in and out. Very cool, I, I don't feel scared at all that it's gonna rip my wrists off. So now, let's take this out, switch this over, put the chisel point on, and then we bust the middle out. Okay, just like that. Now sometimes when you're using this bit, it will just break off inside and you won't have to use a chisel bit. A lot of the times I'll use a smaller uh, jackhammer or chipper just so I'm not having to switch bits. I can just switch, pick up, you know, back and forth. And uh, if I, my, it's battery operated, so it's, it's quick. I don't need to have two cores. I don't need to have splitters. It's just using it for chipping. So then once you get that out, then you switch back to your coring bit. And now you can keep going deeper. So that's sort of the process. I think that'll stay. All right. That's basically a process, guys. It's super handy to have if you, if you are sort of in renovations or whatever and you're once in a while and need to drill a hole, get yourself something that's capable of at least going up to four inches. Five inches would be great um, because then you can do larger vents. But four inches does the trick for most of the stuff that I'm doing. And if I need something bigger, I'm, I'm going to sub it out. So awesome rotary hammer. This thing does the job. I highly recommend it. Feels good in my hands. It's got the nice shock absorber in the handle here, in this D handle. So really nice. So yeah, guys, I want to hear some comments. Let's hear what, uh, what you're using, what your thoughts are on this. Do you like bigger models, smaller models? I want to know. Till next time, guys. Uh, yeah, subscribe, hit that notify bell. Give me a thumbs up. Keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.